In today's episode, we're gonna do another crash course in stainless steel TIG welding. And today, we're gonna do the outside corner joint. Hey everyone, my name is Dusty for Pacific Arc TIG Welding. Thanks a lot for joining me today and welcome to my show. I'm a welding artist from Vancouver Island, Canada. I do all types of art projects. I do two-dimensional and three-dimensional art pieces. And on my channel, I love showing off and teaching the art of TIG welding. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to balance it back. Check out some of the previous episodes. There's a lot there for you to watch. So today, we're gonna do another smaller episode on welding stainless steel. We're gonna do a machine setup. I'll show you what I'm running for machine settings uh, as far as a torch setup. How I'm gonna put the joint together, we'll weld it and we'll go from there. So for machine, as always, I'm using the Canaweld 201 Pulse D. We'll go over some settings real quick here. We're obviously set on DC negative because we're doing stainless steel today. For amperage, what we're running, set at 70, but I'm probably gonna turn that down to about 60 or so. 60 should actually be more than enough, but as always, I'm running the foot pedal, so the foot pedal will dictate how much of that 60 amps I'm using. The rest of the settings here are gonna be pretty simple. Run no downslope. We get about five seconds of post flow. Quick blast of pre flow. No upslope because we're using the foot pedal. Back to 60 amps, pretty simple. As far as torch goes, pretty much the same setup I'm using for every episode nowadays. It's a CK Worldwide 9 style torch. Pop the cup off here. It's a 332 laser tungsten from CK Worldwide as well, as well as a 332 gas screen. Standard gas screen setup with a call 332 collet on the inside. This here's the adapter that comes with edge cups. They make these dope little adapters. Just go over any normal standard collet body, and then you just slide whatever cup you want to use over top, like so. And today we're using a number 12 cup. My stick out is approximately equal to the width of the orifice of my cup. Just a general rule of thumb I like to follow. But that's it, that's what we're using for a torch. Okay, so I still gotta clean these. I'm gonna use some acetone just to touch them up a little bit after I finish touching them with my dirty hands here. This stuff is 308 stainless steel, pretty basic stuff. It's just a 16th of an inch thick, 1.6 millimeters. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tack it in three places with decent tacks too. I'm gonna leave the tack in the middle a little bit shy because that's where we're gonna be doing our tie-in. So I don't want my tie-in to have a big lumpy tack to go over. I want it to be nice and prone so everything will just run, stop, be able to tie in without having a big bump in the middle. Towards the end, I have a little bit more of a meaty tack there, so a little bit more beef on your final tack. It's gonna act as a little bit of a heat catch, so when you're coming towards the end, it's gonna be super hot, and that heat catch will tend to bolster the end a little bit so that the end doesn't heat up as much as it should. So there we go, that's where we're running, pretty simple, and that's about it. Okay, you can see the amperage display on the lower right-hand side. Right off the top here, I'm giving it a good amount of filler rod to keep it from getting too hot too fast. So watch how much filler rod I'm putting in. And I'm moving pretty quick. I'm not hanging out too long, but I'm definitely giving it good fill and then moving on pretty quickly. And take a look at my torch angle. I got a little bit of a push angle going. Helps to keep it from heating up a little bit on the back end. Now coming up to my tack here, I want to make sure I don't ball up my tack too much. I leave it hollow at the end right there. And then for the second half, all I have to do is put a little bit of fill in just to match the size of the weld before. Because I left the tack empty, I can carry on as if it never even happened. And again, I'm into about 30 amps or so. Panel was set for 60, so I'm using about half of it on the foot pedal. And off I go, I'm ripping now. So again, good amount of filler rod to keep it from getting too hot. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And as I get towards the end of the weld, I'm definitely gonna give it a good amount of fill because again, I wanna keep it from getting too hot. And near the end, I'm gonna give it a little bit of extra fill right here. All right, so there we go. There's the weld there. Turned out okay, not too badly. I actually kind of wish I used a bigger cup on it. Bigger cup would have helped keep the color to a minimum, get a little bit more gold in there. But for the most part, the weld stayed relatively prone. It didn't stand too proud or spill over the edges. It didn't sink too low, which is good. So we have a relatively consistent profile from start to finish. No areas got wider than others. No areas were skinnier than others. Tie-in stayed relatively good too. Our tie-in didn't get too wide or anything like that. And if you look at it like so, we don't have a big bump in the middle where that tack was. So we managed to keep it pretty prone. 
strong, pretty consistent, which is good. If we flip it to the inside, you can see we have a pretty consistent heat affected zone the whole way. Even towards the end, it, it tended to blow it a little bit, but not that much. For the most part, I wish I eased into the pedal a little bit more just to set it down. You can see the penetration has come through a little bit consistently the whole way, but definitely could have stood to come through a little bit more. But overall for a quick little demo, it's pretty good. So there you go, pretty happy with that one. Aside from the color, kind of getting a little bit inconsistent for the most part. The consistency of the weld itself was pretty decent. Like I said, relatively uniform from start to finish as far as the width goes. Overall, decently happy with that one. So there you go, another little crash course on a basic weld joint. I got a couple more ideas for some basic weld joints for these quick little crash course episodes. So if you enjoy the shorter episodes and the crash course ones especially, please comment below. Let me know if you like the long format episodes that I do or these quick little ones as well. These quick little ones are easier for me to make. Obviously, I can make more of them real easy because they're short. <laughs> Either way, I enjoy making episodes regardless, so just let me know. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my website. On there, I have all my stuff about my art projects. I got a little bit of a gallery going, nice pictures I've taken of all my art projects. Also, I have information on my online TIG welding program. I don't teach people how to TIG weld stainless steel yet. I do teach people how to TIG weld aluminum. So if you're interested in learning aluminum TIG welding, pop on there, there's an email form. You can send me a quick email. We'll get a little conversation going to see where you're at and see if you're a good fit. But I've been teaching people for about nine months now, give or take, and it's been a lot of fun. I've been having a good time with it. Students are getting good results um, and I'm making friends. It's awesome. So if you're interested, pop on over there, say what's up, we'll go from there. But if you got any value from what you saw here today, I offer this challenge at the end of every episode I do. It's a way you can repay me for the information that I've shared with you today and that's to go out and do a random act of kindness for a stranger. We need more positivity in the world today, so if you enjoyed what you saw today, go out there, spread some positivity in any way you can. Help someone who's stuck at the side of the road, who's got a car broken down, uh, help an old lady across the street if you need to see her and need some help. Actually, I got a funny story about this. I live in Victoria and I was downtown one day and there was a blind lady, she was quite old and she was obviously trying to cross the street. So I went over and asked if she needed help. She thanked me kindly and I helped her across the street. All the cars stopped and as I was about to leave, she turned, she grabbed me by the shoulder and she said, thank you very much. Can I ask you, do you have any weed I could buy off of you? <laughs> <laughs> That's Victoria for you. <laughs> I tried. So anyway, go spread some positivity in the world. Go write something nice on a complete stranger's Instagram profile. I don't care. Just do something nice for someone. And to anybody that sticks around at the end of all these episodes, I appreciate you as always. My name is Dusty from Pacific Arctic Welding. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.